So I was just watching this guy's podcast, and he was talking about, like, you know, jobs and how they don't appreciate anything, and people work themselves to death and stuff like that. I could totally relate to that. It's totally true. Um, for example, I was working at a, a supply company. I'm a driver. And uh, I had been working there two years, and I was making, like, 18 bucks an hour back then. And then this new guy, he was working there, like, six months, and the job sucked. No, no debating that. Job absolutely sucked. You know, the, 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 the people at work don't care about you. You're just expendable, whatever. They treat you like crap. And, it, and, and it's a very stressful place to work. Well, this guy threatened to leave after only being there six months, and they gave him a 50-cent raise, and he was making more than me. I had been there two years. Did more than this guy, had more qualifications, was the yes guy, which is another thing. The dispatcher would always ask me, oh, can you, you know, here's your paperwork to load for tomorrow, and could you load Jimmy's stuff because, you know, Jimmy's off talking somewhere. And, uh, you know, you want to be a nice guy. You want to seem like the yes guy, and that's going to get you ahead, and you want to have a good attitude. And after a while, I just started getting pissed off. So it's like, you know, I would like to leave early, or I, I would like to be done and, and stand around talking since I've already got my shit done. Well, I got pissed off, and I told Jimmy. I, I rolled up on Jimmy in the fork truck, and I said, here, load your own shit. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. And for what? No one cares. No one cares that I'm doing it. I'm not getting extra money. I'm not getting more, you know, more money than Jimmy. So it's like, why am I doing this? And it's just shit like that. They're never going to appreciate you. The, 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 you go above and beyond. They don't give a shit. They want to pay you as little as they can pay you and have you do as much as they can get you to do. So whatever you're going to agree to do, they're just going to keep adding it on, adding it on, adding it on, and then the guy next to you is just, you know, on break all day. You know, talking to his old lady or planning his next purchase or whatever on your dime. So, and the same thing with the job I'm at now. I actually just got a, I got accepted for another job offer here, and making nine dollars more an hour with more opportunity to grow, more bonuses, things like that. Because, you know, I I I came and I took this job, and uh, did the interview. They loved they loved me. You know, interview went great. Yeah, we're gonna hire you. We're gonna call you on Friday. Friday come and go. They didn't call me. So I called Monday, you know, to follow up, show interest, and they tell me, well, we gave the position to another guy that's already here, uh, and I'm like, I really wanted to get out of working where I was working. It was just really stressful, and I, I knew it was time for a change. Uh, so, yeah, then they, they tell me, well, we have a roll-off position. That's the only other position we have, and it pays a dollar less, and I, I was, I'm like, I want to do something different, so I took it. So they train me, and they tell me, oh, you're going to be in the hook truck. Okay, fine, great. Yeah, I've run a hook truck before. That's great. Oh, well, now, no, you're not going to be in the hook truck. We're training a new guy now. So he gets the hook truck, and you're going in the cable truck. So now i got to switch trucks. Then they get bought, bought out by another company. So, and, and, and like, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, you keep changing the agreement here. So, and then the next the next company that comes in, they're super strict about stuff. You know, there's just, and then, and then now they, they sold off the roll-off division, and they're trying to get us to, they're trying to, you know, get us to do equipment sales and things like that. And it's just like they have no, like, plan or anything. And they're not, they're not saying, hey, you're going to be doing this or we promise you you're going to have a position. They're not really saying anything. So I'm like, I've been, you know, covering my ass and looking for other jobs and have, have a backup plan in case they, they pull a rug, rug out from under me yet again. So now just yesterday, they're like, oh, yeah, we got another position for you and this and that. I already went to an interview. Now I got the call today. They hired me. It's, a, it's like the job I've been dreaming of. It's in the same town, you know, pays way more, everything. It's like just perfect. And then now I say, screw you, you know? You want to play games? You want to dick me around? I've learned a few things along the way, and now it's my turn to say, fuck you. So, yeah, I'm super psyched about this, and uh, it's going to be a great learning experience. I've never done it before, but... Uh, I do have some background here and there. I've, I've done a bajillion freaking different things. So I, it's like it's like I've been training my whole life to do this job. But yeah, it's like, look out for yourself. Like this was this was a, a self-aware moment. Like I'm just like, yeah, I did the right thing. I looked out for myself. You know, they weren't giving me the insight on what they're gonna do. They weren't appreciating me. I'm underpaid right now. Fuck this. And you know, when you look out yourself for yourself, things will happen. But yeah, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Let me know if you agree with this. You know, it, it's just, moral of the story is don't be a bootlicker because it will get you nowhere. So you just be licking boots. That's it.